West Monroe is different because we try to think about the challenges around distributed energy resources end to end. We look at it from the regulatory perspective. We look at it from the technology perspective. We have research that's going on through our C-Smart labs and with other universities, uh, with the Department of Energy, um, all around how to optimize the deployment and the management of DER on utilities networks. Distributed energy resources are things like uh, solar panels on roofs. Um, it also could be energy storage, such as the Tesla Powerwall. We also see it um, in the form of backup generators and combined cycle uh, cogeneration plants for large buildings and facilities. The key thing is it's usually located at the customer site. The integration of those um, into the grid is a real big challenge for their engineers. So there's a technical uh, power quality challenge um, to make sure that we don't create uh, issues um, on the grid. As you create more energy and generation at the grid edge, what that means is the way that the utility makes money and is compensated for their assets has to change as well. DER has several benefits. For the customer, uh, the DER could actually be very cost effective. I got 22 panels up on my roof. I'm going to save money. So long term, it's going to last 25 years. Um, I'm going to save money. For the utility, it could also be good. Um, so utilities sometimes have hot spots or places where they're at near capacity on their system and the distributed energy resource, the generation at that could actually relieve a hot spot on their system. We work very closely with the utilities on how to optimize their processes and what do they need to be successful. So we've thought about this end-to-end -end from, um, from the enrollment piece to the system integration and how do you get that data of the customer generation um, to all the different IT and, and operational technology systems in the utility. We try to look at this holistically and try to help um, our clients from end to end on the process. And from that, really all the work we do in any one area helps inform us more in the other areas. I think this end to end approach has worked really well and has helped us really evolve our thinking um, to really understand the critical pain points um, in the process.